The Bold and Beautiful Show 5286, VTR 3, 4, 2008. My God, what am I thinking? What are you thinking? How could you make me do that? This is not happening. I will not accept this. Mother, when are you going to learn you cannot control other people's feelings? Rick, can't you see how wrong this is? No, Ridge, I can't. I have grown up, Mom. I'm not some little boy you can boss around anymore and, and tell me what to think and what to feel. I love this woman. And as we all heard, she loves me. So I'm sorry, that's something you're just gonna have to accept because you cannot change it. I made you kiss me, is that what you're inferring? Yes! I mean, you and I both know that I would never in a million years do something like that. I mean, this is just too weird. I, oh God, we just have to forget that it ever happened. Okay, let's forget it ever happened. Fine, good, I will. This is just wrong. Really? Yes. I, I'm the one pushing you to get back together with Bridget to, to find where the two of you lost. And what am I doing? I'm, I'm kissing you. And it, it wasn't exactly an innocent peck on the cheek. I mean, it was like a kiss kiss, like a real kiss. Good kiss. This can't be happening, not with you. Well, it did happen. And it was actually you that started the kissing. I know. I know, and this is all your fault. All that talk about following your impulses and, and, and acting on them. I mean, that's just stupid. Who does that? I can tell you one thing, I will never follow my impulses ever again. Rick, you need to step back and think what you're doing here. Phoebe was just here. She's obviously still in love with you, and now you're involved with her mother? You can't possibly think that's okay. It's the funny thing about feelings, Ridge. You really can't control them. They do have a mind of their own. But you can control who you hurt. And that poor girl is going to be devastated once she finds out what's going on between you and her mother. Oh, well, you would be the expert on that, having slept with both of your daughter's husbands. Oh, Taylor, we got a little situation here. Let's not make it worse. I don't even know how this could possibly get worse. There's a baby here that shouldn't be here, and Ridge and I are going to take him home to his father. No, you are not going to be doing anything. You don't have a right. Neither one of you have any right to do anything where my baby is concerned. Taylor, didn't the judge order that any visitation you have with Jack needs to be supervised? He shouldn't even be here in this home. The baby's father has granted permission for Jack to be here. And it's gone very well. So well, in fact, that Nick allowed Taylor to keep Jack for the afternoon. Jack is doing just fine. All I want to do is just hold him. Spend a little time with him, let him know his mother is still here for him. You were the one who was so concerned that I wasn't bonding with the baby, and now here you are, shock of all shocks, over here trying to take him away from me. Well, get a clue, because it's not happening. Walk out of my door and get out of here. You and Ridge, go have a great life. Do you like some water? You seem a bit flustered. I'm not flustered. I'm just, I, I've lost my mind. I've got to go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, it's, it's a here, here. I'll take it. It's all right, it's, it's just Ming Dynasty. I'll get another one. Okay, good, great. I'm gonna, I'm going. 
Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Um, um, what happened? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm clumsy. I knocked that over. I, um, I was just coming over. I, I told, uh, gave Nick a message. Oh. What message? It's, it, uh, it's about Jack. But Jack isn't here. He's with Taylor. Jack is with Taylor? How did, how did that happen? She asked for some time with him, so I said okay. Oh. Well, it was good running into you, and yeah. I'll see you upstairs. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is just weird. Let's just... Forget about the kiss. Don't don't tell her, please. It, it meant nothing. No, it did mean something. No, it didn't. No, it did. Because you're right. I need to be honest about my feelings. And I know my heart's not in the same place as Bridget's. I really don't want to leave here without the baby. You are not taking my baby anywhere. What part of this don't you understand? Taylor, what's really going on here? Why are you playing this silly game with Rick? Have you thought at all about our daughter, how this is going to hurt Phoebe? Oh, that's really rich. Ridge, you spent an awful lot of time trying to keep me away from your daughter. I thought you would be thrilled that I finally found another woman. Not when that other woman is her mother, for God's sakes. Taylor, this is wrong. Why do you two keep saying that? What is so wrong about it? Rick has been doing nothing but encouraging me. Unlike some other men who dropped me the minute they found out I wasn't perfect. All right, you know what? I think we all need to take a little time to recognize the fact that Taylor has lived her life in insecurities. She had a great marriage to you, Ridge, and uh, that relationship was eclipsed by your love for my mother. And then history repeated itself with Nick. I mean, what are the odds of that, that Taylor loses two husbands to the, to the same woman? For a second, just try to put yourself in Taylor's shoes. See it from Taylor's point of view. See the hell that she's been through, much of it because of you. I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe that you're letting Taylor use you like this against your own mother. She's not using me. I'm here because I want to be. Logan, let's go. We're obviously not going to get through to these two. You are my firstborn son. And you are making a terrible, terrible mistake. Mom, please. I really am so sorry. But this is not a mistake. And you know what? If it is, it's mine. I mean it. I don't know if I can give Bridget what she needs. Nick, Bridget loves you so much. But things are just moving too fast for me. Oh, come on. This, this can't be because of one silly, stupid kiss. I mean, come on. It's just, she deserves so much. She deserves to be happy and fulfilled. And is she really going to get that from me? Go. Nick? Nick? Hey, I... 
Thought you were coming up. Something wrong? I don't get it. I, I just don't understand. I, how could this happen? I mean, Rick is a happy, healthy, wonderful young man. How could he let himself get sucked up into Taylor's polluted world? Rich, why is he lashing out at me like this? The relationship is wrong for so many reasons. Logan, sooner or later, Taylor has got to realize there's no future in that relationship with Rick. What's that look about? You're glowing. I am? Yeah. You're a lady in love. I really, I, I want you to know how much that meant to me. Oh, when I said, I love you, in front of Ridge and Brooke? Yeah. Wasn't that great? Did you see their faces? Are you sure you didn't say it just to stick it to them? Well, it wasn't the first time I've said that to you. First time in public? Rick, what I said was straight from my heart. You've been there for me like no other man ever has. How could I not love you? Just don't slip away from me, okay? I don't know exactly what the future holds for us. I'll get him. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird, huh, that whole Katie thing? Yeah. I wonder if she's all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I took the rest of the day off because I had someone cover my shift and I just thought I could come home and give you my undivided attention. I am so lucky to have you. It was a little rough for us in the beginning. Well, for me. But now look at us. Yeah. When I look at you, I'll, I only see something so priceless, so beautiful. Something so precious. Isn't he precious? <sighs> It's just like his mommy. Taylor, you're gonna be such a wonderful mother to this child. Do you think I'll be able to get him back? Do you think there's any chance? Yes, of course there is. You're gonna fight for him. And I'm gonna fight with you. And we're gonna win. Yes, we are. Do you really think that could happen? Rick realizing what a mistake he's making? Yes, Logan, I do. I think it's all gonna work out. Look, I hate to leave you, but I have a meeting with some suppliers downtown. Oh. It's all right, I'll be fine. Okay. Storm, where are you? Oh, voicemail. Storm, hi, it's Brooke. Look, I have this situation. 
Jack is over at Taylor's right now, and I'm worried sick about it. I mean, Nick let Taylor take Jack to her house overnight, and she's really not supposed to have him unless she has supervised visits. So I'm concerned for his safety, and I need your help. So please, call me back. What's the matter, Nick? I love you, you know that. Okay. But uh, things are feeling uncomfortable. What does that mean? I'm trying to make this relationship what it was, it's, it's just confusing to me. Why? Why, Nick? Honey, what is it? Bridget. Oh my goodness. Is there someone else? <laughs> is there another woman? I mean, honestly, Nick, you two are unbelievable. You're really, really unbelievable. I can't believe that she would betray me like this. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for her. God, this is really the lowest of the low, and I can't believe what an idiot I am that I fell for it. You are not welcome here, bro. Wait, wait. No, what are you doing back? I just don't like the way we left things. That Jack is here with me? I know that. Yes. Yes, and I'm kind of worried. I mean, Jack isn't supposed to be here unless it's supervised visitation. And, and Nick never should have let Jack spend the night here with you. Then go tell that to Nick, please. Is Rick still here? No. So you're here all alone with the baby? The baby that is my son with my blood running through his veins. Don't you ever say that again. I have one concern and one concern only, the welfare of my child. He is not your child. Taylor, I care about that little boy. I believe that, I believe that, and so do I. Okay, well, if you do, then you would know that you're not stable enough to care for him yet. If you were, you wouldn't be involved with my son. Why, because he's younger? No. No, because he is my son, and you know that it's wrong. I shouldn't even have to tell you that. He reached out to me. He wanted to be there for me. Because he sees a woman in crisis, and that's exactly what I no, see. No, maybe he feels responsible for my breakdown because it was his mother's fault, but you know what? Everything's fine now. I'm much better. I'll never believe that you're stable unless you stop seeing my son. Look, I am about to finish my psychological evaluation. And then I will go back to court, and the judge will decide if I deserve to have my custodial rights back. You may have influence over Nick with this situation, but you are never Taylor, going to Taylor, I will win. say it one Try more time. I am not ever going to believe that you are stable while you're still involved with Rick. I want you to know I did not try to make this happen. I had no idea that this would happen. Not in my wildest dreams did I think this would happen. I don't know where it will go, Brooke. All I know is that nothing but good has come out of it since your son has gotten close to me. If you could just try to see past our history, just let your son and I alone. Let your son be a man and decide on his own. Just let things fall where they will. <sighs> Brooke, if you won't do it for me, then do it for your son. You know, Taylor, I used to hold you in the highest regard. Now I don't know what to think of you. I have one word for your relationship with my son. Disgusting. And as long as this continues, I will fight to make sure that Jack is safe and nowhere near you. I need my son. Not until you unhand mine. <laughs>